Hello, everyone. Get together because we have a very important topic to talk about. So, Professional Fellows Program, PFP, for Europe and Eurasia is a two-way global exchange program designed to promote mutual understanding, enhance leadership and professional skills, as well as build lasting, sustainable partnership between mid-level emerging leaders from foreign countries at the United States. So, to tell us more about that program, we have with us Doi Nastati, Program Coordinator, Professional Fellows uh, Moldova from American Consuls for International Education. Doina, I'm very happy that you find time for us today. And I'm excited to see all, uh, to know all about this program because it's super interesting. And I think a lot of people will be interested as well. Yes. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to tell uh, more about PFP. That's great. So we can start, uh, you can start sharing uh, the presentation and we will just go with the flow. If, uh, by the way, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. And so we will be able to answer those uh, later uh, in, again, in the written form. Okay, so I see the presentation already. Uh, Doina, it's, the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, so I prepared a small presentation, like to make it more interactive because I uh, really don't want to uh, bore anyone. Uh, so um, professional fellows program is the best professional exchange experience for young people from Moldova, for young professionals. Uh, at least um, um, that's how I would qualify it. Not because I'm the coordinator here in Moldova, but because it's uh, it's true and I'm gonna prove this. So um, as, um, as you said, Professional Fellows Program is a two-way global exchange program. Um, uh, PFP participants will be placed in um, an intensive five or six weeks fellowships. Um, usually in non-profit organizations, private sector businesses and uh, government offices across the United States, States for an uh, individually tailored professional development experience. Um, I should mention that uh, PFP is sponsored by the U.S. Department of State and are administrated by American Councils for International Education. Um, here is our logo. So. Uh, participating countries are Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Moldova, uh, Turkey, Ukraine, and Serbia this year. Um, PFP team that Moldova participates in uh, is uh, governance and uh, society. Uh, and I will stop here a bit. So um, the shared vision of professional fellows in the governance and society cohort is to expand uh, legislative access and uh, civic participation and policy formulation for all members of the uh, community. Okay, um, professional fellows will be administrated into uh, cohorts or cycles. So the first one will be in fall 2023 and the second in spring uh, 2024. So applicants must uh, indicate their preferred cycle, cycle one or two uh, in their application. They may only participate in one of the two uh, program cycles. Okay, let's move on. Then um, here we have program um, elements. So, um, Fellows will participate in a virtual pre-departure orientation as well as uh, an arrival orientation there in DC. They will spend um, four weeks in an individually tailored fellowship, as I said, uh, working in a US placement host organization. Uh, they will uh, participate in a community service opportunity to engage with the US community uh, and participate in um, civic engagement. They will uh, develop a follow one um, mutual project proposal to complete a project that meets a specific objective and builds on their like participation in the uh, PFP. 
um, they will have a home hospitality experience with an American host family. And I think that's like amazing. And uh, the US based exchange uh, component will conclude with a Cape Stone three day professional fellows uh, Congress in um, uh, Washington DC. Besides that, I would like to mention that um, 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 this is a fully funded program. Uh, the travel and living and arrangements will be covered um, as well as emergency health insurance and visa fees on program. So all costs are um, covered. Okay, um, next. Uh, I will talk about eligibility. Next, here we have a nice photo. Uh, the, from these are fellows um, already uh, alumni, PFP alumni 2022. So, uh, eligibility requirements. Um, to participate in PFP, you must meet a few uh, criteria. So, you have to be between 25 and 35 years old. You have to be a citizen and resident of uh, the Republic of Moldova. Uh, you have to have a, a university um, a degree to be employed with at least two years of um, experience. Uh, of course, you have to have relevant experience and commitment to a career in the public sector or an NGO. Um, be a professional fit for the PFP uh, governance and society topic that Moldova participates in. And I told about that like earlier. Um, I will stop here a bit too, because uh, um, who is a PFP governance and society fellow? So fellows come from um, um, from many uh, professional backgrounds, including but not limited to um, public and government offices, uh, civil servants who are active in um, in policy formulation, implementation, and promotion of civic. Um, initiatives, uh, public administration and local governance, um, also NGOs, including those working to uh, promote uh, civic engagement and legal access to, to services. Um, um, I guess that will be, yes. Um, you also have to be, uh, to demonstrate like proficiency in written and spoken English to be eligible for a, a US J-1 visa, to be self-directed, and of course, to demonstrate um, leadership skills. May sound like many uh, criteria, but if you will meet the age, the country, uh, the team of the project, that's, uh, I guess, enough for now. Uh, commitment to diversity. So, of course, PFP is open to all applicants regardless race, color, national origin, sex, age, religion, geographic location, status, disability, uh, sexual orientation or gender identity. So don't think too much, just apply right now if you meet, of course, the uh, eligibility criteria. Um, what's next? So. Um, I will. Uh, I'm about to tell you how to apply for uh, for PFP because it's really easy. I will say. So um, I have here just five steps uh, in order to apply for PFP. We will start with the first one. So um, you have to um, make sure that you meet all the eligible uh, criteria, and then to open the application. Um, PFP application can be accessed online at ace.americancouncils.org slash PFP. After that, you have to create an account and start filling out the, the uh, online application. Uh, step two, you have to read the instructions. So instructions on how to use the form, how to save the changes, how to submit your application are provided within the application. So please read uh, them. Um, step three, you have to choose the cycle. As I said, we have two cohorts. The first one is fall 2023. The second one is um, spring 2024. 
you just have to choose one and you may only participate in one of the two uh, cycles. Okay, uh, step four, you have to submit the uh, requested uh, materials in that uh, application. So, um, yes, yeah, submit the requested materials as confirmation of eligibility, education history, work experience, uh, CV in English, three essay questions, and two uh, professional recommendations, or one. I'm not sure about that, but I guess it's one now. Yeah, uh, step five. Submit your application. Uh, to do that, you just have to click the button, submit your application on the last page. And after that, you'll receive a confirmation uh, on your email that your uh, online application was uh, or has been submitted. Um, it's pretty simple, <laughs> I would say. Um, so um, next. As I said, uh, you have to apply now because uh, all the registrations are open. So you just have to type in your browser or somewhere ace.americancouncil.org slash PFP. And the deadline for application is uh, 31st January 2022. So you actually you have a lot of time uh, to do that. Um, next, I have some online application instructions. Uh, but before just, you will go there, I'm sorry, Doina, yeah. before you will go there, even though you said that we have a lot of time to apply, uh, be, well, while I was getting ready for our Facebook Live, uh, I I went through the, the, the page. Just pay attention because uh, there's a lot of information that you need to enter. So don't leave everything for the last day. It's my recommendation to you. Just you can make it like some pages, then save it and then continue next day. Just a recommendation yes. because there's a lot of pages there. So it's simple, but it takes time. Yes, I completely agree with you, Alexander. Like um, usually people uh, do uh, like uh, all the stuff in the last two days, but that's a mistake. Uh, if you want to do uh, everything and if you don't want to miss any uh, section or like anything, you have to do that uh, in um, in a normal amount of time. So don't do not do that in last days. Um, so um, as I had... As I said, I uh, have here the online application instructions and I will go through them just uh, really uh, quick. Just you to have a, um, to, to have an imagination on that. So uh, we have 17 sections. This might sound a lot. This uh, may sound like that's too much, but it's not, believe me. So. Uh, section one, you just have to read the information about PFP, about goals, about eligibility, about criteria, components, dates, and so on. Just read. Okay, next. Um, here you, you will see this page when you will open your application. On the left side, uh, you will see those 17 um, um, sections. Um, it's By the way, it's very simple. Just Make sure you are informed correctly and just move to the next save changes, as Alexander said, save changes and move to the to the next section. Okay, section two, how to apply in deadlines. Just read um, uh, application requirements, how to use the online form, how to move from section to section. This information is really, really important. Um, and by reading uh, all the instructions, you will understand that it's quite easy to complete it. Uh, next, here is just reading section two. Section, uh, yes, you will see the, the, the this page. Uh, section uh, three, uh, certify your eligibility. You just need to check that you are eligible and to move on. Um, yes, section four, biographical information. Here you have to indicate your uh, data, your eligibility, contact information, um, um, employment information, contacts, and that's it. Simple again. Uh, section five, uh, letter of uh, reference. So 
the letter of recommendation is uh, also requested online. You don't have to print something, a paper, and to go to your boss. Don't do that. Just uh, requested um, it online. Um, here you'll have instructions. Again, read all the instructions before requesting that recommendation. Uh, you just have to enter your uh, like recommender information and that person will receive a link that uh, when uh, that link will, will be accessed, uh, that person will be able to complete the letter. Uh, the deadline for that letter will be also um, January 21st, 2023. So just here you can see the space, uh, email address, put here uh, your boss, uh, I don't know, manager uh, email and click the button um, request recommendation and that's how you will get it. But talk to your um, manager, to your uh, supervisor, to your boss before doing that. So he will be like aware of things. Uh, section six, work history. Again, very simple. Just you have to indicate the data about your uh, place of work, workplace, as well to describe in 100 words the general responsibility at the workplace. Of course, if you know them, but you should know them. Um, section seven, it's education, conferences, and training history. Just list all your um, uh, post high school uh, education history here, and you have the button add more. Just list your um, uh, most recent institution of higher education. Um, list any conferences, workshops, trainings you have attended at home here or abroad um, related to governance, uh, policy, uh, legislation, um, innovation, or other relevant professional fields. Uh, of course, include the name, the date, location of the event, um, along with the uh, nature of your participation at the, that event. Okay, next, section eight, international experience. Yes, it's important, but it's not a deciding factor. If you have some international experience, just add it there. Here you have just have to tick the boxes that uh, correspond to your international experience, as well as the foreign uh, languages you know, if any. Uh, section nine, placement information. So, uh, uh, all the uh, finalists, or let's say fellows, uh, should be prepared to live in uh, in a U.S. host family, and uh, that's why you must uh, describe your feelings about that, about the cultural cultural exchange, about the uh, maybe you have some concerns or everything, so you have to put that here. You will also have to provide names for. Um, a specific organization offices in which you are interested um, and you have to prepare a brief uh, um, uh, professional biography written in third person because uh, that will be used in program materials to tell others about you. So you have one, uh, 100, uh, 100 uh, words to do that. Sections uh, 10, 11, 12. Uh, those are essays, three essay questions. You must answer all in English, and they should be like no more than five thousand words. I will um, I will not make like the essay question public or visible because um, when you'll complete the application, you'll be uh, able to to see them and of course answer them. Section 13, privacy policy, just read it, all the, all the privacy policies. Section 14, terms and conditions. Again, read the information about participation, reporting, post-fellowship participation, and many other things. It's really important like for you to know for your information. Uh, section 15, upload passport copies and photo. You just have to upload them on, on um, required spa uh, spaces. You have the buttons here. So 
here you need to upload your international passport uh, name and photo page like the the main one um if you don't have uh, an international passport then provide your uh, id card uh, it, that, that's enough and then you have to upload a passport style photo this photo will be shared with your uh, like potential host families and EUS placement host and will be published in program material. So make sure that photo looks uh, nice. That it's a representative photo. Okay, section 16, supplemental materials. You have to upload like any other documents like CV in English your TOEFL or other language test certificate if applicable. I mean, if you don't have a certificate that uh, that proves your um, English knowledge, then do not, like do, don't, don't upload there anything. And you, uh, you have the chance to uh, upload the other uh, supplemental materials again, if applicable, if you have some, I don't know, diplomas or some, um, you have, some achievements uh, and proofs on that, you can do that. And section 17, that's final review and submission. So here, th this is the section when you have to review all those uh, 16 sections before. So to make sure you uh, did everything as you wanted to. So um, just review all your application. And after that, uh, you have to press or to click this magic uh, button, the most important one in your online application. Uh, submit your application button. That's really important to do that. Uh, I guess that's all on instruction. And okay, what's what's next? Um, what's next? That you'll receive the email. As as I said, that you. Uh, Mm, that you um, submitted the application and um, this application will be evaluated by experts in uh, Washington DC and here in Moldova and uh, subsequently will uh, be um, the app all the applicants will be notified of their status and um, the next selection stage is an interview in English uh, here uh, at the American Consul's for International Education's Office, um, just to, to know, uh, to get to know the applicant um, even better. Um, that's all about the online application. Uh, if we have more time, Alexandro, of course, we have enough time. I think uh, as more information that we will get from you, the better. So, if you have something to add, of course, please do. Oh, of course I do. Um, I mean, we have a really uh, nice alumni community uh, that we are really proud of, and uh, I will do that in a minute. Just I will, I will uh, really quick will present a few alumni. Of course, uh, of, of course. PFP, yes. So um, PFP Moldova program has a community of fifty-one alumni. Uh, so, as I said, one of the beauties of the program is alumni community and alumni engagement. Because, um, like, after finishing the professional exchange in the U.S., fellows will uh, design uh, follow-on um, mutual projects proposal to address challenges uh, encountered in their home community, Moldova, in our case, and. Um, all the fellows after the program will be eligible to invite uh, a U.S. placement host uh, from uh, from the fellowship placement to implement uh, uh, that uh, exchange project in Moldova, and that's that's really nice and that's uh, that's a real uh, real real exchange, I would say. Um, okay, so here we have uh, many photos of our uh, PFP alumni. Um, I will present next our PFP alumni 2022, the most uh, like new one, a fresh one. Uh, uh, here you can see in many photos, uh, Cristina Voroniano. Um, actually, on November 5th, yeah, uh, Cristina, 
who is now a PFP alumna 2022, uh, returned to the Republic of Moldova after six weeks of uh, successful uh, exchange in the US. She was placed um, uh, in Hawaii State Ethics Commission located in Honolulu, Hawaii. And believe me, she sent me so many photos, so many videos. Her experience was really amazing, but like any experience is unique um and beautiful in its own way okay um yes you can see her uh here uh, promoting p of p in dc um, um here we have a uh, yes i we had virtual fellowship during the pandemic and here we have uh, five um, alumni who exchange program professional experience online I mean, it's not um, the best option, but it is an option. Uh, you can see them here. Uh, maybe you recognize uh, some of them. Um, we have, um, I have here PFP alumni from 2019. Uh, Vyacheslav Nastas, she did his uh, exchange program, exchange, um, professional exchange program in Chicago. Um, then uh, Livia in Colorado and Sergei Pantial in Oregon. But of course, we have like 51, uh, 51 alumni, but I, I won't have like enough time to present all of them. Uh, but that's like the, the last one. In here, I like, I have, uh, these are uh, other PFP alumni, not all of them, of course. And um, I would say that we uh, really want to um, enrich ourselves with even more alumni, with even more uh, young uh, leaders able to bring and able to implement new ideas and projects here in Moldova. Uh, that was all. Here I have uh, some contact information. So, um, Anytime you have questions, you have uh, something to ask, just call me. You can see here the number. You can also see email, um, my personal email and uh, PFP Moldova email, uh, which is like also managed by me, but you can contact me anytime. I will be very uh, glad to, um, to answer all your, all your questions. Thank you very much, Doina, for this presentation. I think uh, we gave enough information for our viewers. But if you still have uh, something that is that was on uh, that we were not talking about, just feel free to leave the uh, the question in the comment section below, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Again, the deadline for application is January thirty first, two thousand and twenty three. Even though you think you have enough time, please do it as soon as possible, just not to rush, you know? It's just, it will show, I think it will help you a lot. It's like the main, I think, advice for, for every exchange application, every exchange program application. It's just do everything on time and don't leave it for the last day. That's <laughs> because completely even when, true. Yeah. That's yes, completely when you true. said about this letter, reference letter, you know, it, it will take time for your... Uh, I don't know, manager to write this. So even that detail, you know, you need to keep this in mind. So yeah, Duna, thank you very much once again. I'm I'm showing, I will show the website where people can find more details or they can contact you, as you said. Feel free to leave your question in the comment section below. So that's all for now. Thank you all for joining us today and I wish you a nice application process. Bye-bye. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Alexander, for your support. Thank you. Um, I would like to thank America House for, for support anytime. And yes, uh, apply for PFP now. Don't wait too, too, too long. Just to do it. <laughs> for sure. For sure. <laughs> thank you. Thank okay, you. Bye, everyone.